Uh, today I'm going to do a budget VM revive. Uh, it's a very budget uh, virtual private server. Now, why uh, shared hosting at uh, virtual private private server defense? You can have more freedom in uh, virtual private server, and uh, that enables you uh, to uh, get more traffic. Uh, without uh, getting errors so if you have traffic peaks you don't lose any money uh, just because your server can't handle it and you get uh, more freedom you can maybe make a file hosting service uh, you got more uh, terms of uh, agreement uh, you don't have to pay attention to like you have to do in shared hosting so I pay four ninety nine for virtual private server uh, it's not really much for VPS, I mean, you pay the same amount, if not more, for shared hosting and uh, chances are that uh, sometimes uh, shared hosting can have so many websites and uh, accounts on the one server that yeah, you kind of uh, don't have the resources for your website. So let's uh, look at uh, some some stuff. So basically this is the uh, control panel uh, or administra administration area you get uh, if you buy the VPS. Uh, so yeah, let's look now services, right? Active services, uh, I show you my uh, VPS. So I'm uh, using Linux VPS, open VZ widget um, yeah this uh, this is the place where you can uh, make reboots and uh, reset passwords or any other that you can do in uh, a console as well I, I guess so I got four cores for that money 80 gigabytes of hard drive space I get uh, dedicated memory of uh, 1024 uh, sorry 1024 megabytes of RAM and uh, you can burst the, uh, get burstable memory as well uh, you get the bandwidth of 3000 gigabytes so it's quite a lot at least for me uh, and uh, the location for my uh, server is Chicago uh, I'm not so sure I, I, I read some revivals about uh, Los Angeles server uh, Apparently, Chicago server is the best, uh, Los Angeles and other servers might not be so good. So, uh, I don't have a, ha I don't have had any problems with uh, Chicago server. Uh, it's fast and I like it. So you get uh, six addresses, uh, one main and uh, uh, basically EP4 addresses and EP6 addresses. Uh, I'm not uh, so EP6 addresses are pretty uh, last tech for me. At, at least I don't know quite yet what to do with them. Uh, so it's uh, really more advanced already. Uh, so you've got more opportunities, I guess. Uh, I have to make research on it. Well, I'm, but I'm going r right now using EP4 for my server and uh, testing soon. So. Uh, the best uh, when you first buy the server, you probably need uh, to uh, go to your DNS manager, the domain uh, name, and you have to set uh, your DNS uh, so the uh, so basically you have to connect it with your server. After that, you can uh, install cPanel. cPanel license costs twelve dollars a month. So it didn't have point for me, so I just uh, downloaded ZPanel. Uh, I can show you what uh, ZPanel looks like. ZPanel is free, you can get it online. Uh, I can show you ZPanel, just uh, enter it in Google and, and it comes already here. And it got uh, tutorials on how to add it as well. So nothing uh, really complicated on that one. 
Uh, of course I probably will make tutorials on how to do it uh, if you, you type it in comments below. Uh, let's look some system information for uh, final stats. So I got uh, four processors for, for 99, 19 bits, uh, which is pretty good for power wise for your website. Uh, well, in shared hosting, you share all with uh, that with other websites. So, I think uh, having this much power is pretty good. I think if you get traffic spikes uh, to your website, uh, shared hosting throws on an, er an error. Sorry, sorry, nothing to do. But with this one, you got so much limitation that uh, your server doesn't crash when uh, traffic spikes happen. So, what do I think of them? Yeah, it's really, really good uh, service, I think, for, for uh, 4.99. So, I recommend it. Uh, I add a little uh, referral link down below if you wish to use it. No pressure. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you.